Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorial by JP Technology. This is tutorial number one and we will be covering how to format your SOLIDWORKS. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to choose the unit standards that you'll be using in your SOLIDWORKS and also how to choose which add-ins you have running in your SOLIDWORKS at one time. To start off let's open up a brand new part file. Click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now to choose what units you'll be using in your SOLIDWORKS, click Tools, click Options, click Document Properties. Now we can choose which dimensioning standards we'll be using by clicking the window and choosing the ANSI standard. That's the one I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Now click Units and now you're able to choose if you want to use inches, millimeters, centimeters, or meters. In this tutorial I'm going to be using millimeters and you're also able to choose how many decimal places it's going to be correct to. You can choose up to eight decimal places or you can choose down to zero decimal places. In this tutorial we're going to be using it correct to two decimal places. Click OK. Now to choose the add-ins that you'll be running at one time, click Tools, click Add-ins, and it shows which add-ins are running in your SOLIDWORKS at one time. Right now, all that I'm running is my e-drawings. And to insert an add-in, all you have to do is check the box. So right now, let's, let's insert the SOLIDWORKS animator add-in by checking the box. Click OK. And now you can see at the bottom, I have an animation tab. When you click it, this is your SOLIDWORKS animator. Now to take out the add-in, all you have to do is click Tools, click Add-ins, uncheck the SOLIDWORKS animator, and click OK. Now with your SOLIDWORKS you want to be running the minimum amount of add-ins at one time as it takes up a lot of memory and it'll slow down your machine. Now to choose which add-ins you have running when you open up your SOLIDWORKS, click Tools, click Add-ins, and you can see the right hand column says Startup. So whichever ones you click on the startup are going to be the add-ins that start up when you open up your SOLIDWORKS. For now, and through the whole tutorial, just have your e-drawings selected as your add-ins. As you need add-ins to follow my tutorial, I'll tell you which ones to insert. As of now, just keep the e-drawings, just so you're running the minimum amount, and your SOLIDWORKS will be running at the optimum speed. Now click OK, and that concludes our tutorial on formatting your SOLIDWORKS.